Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are going to be working on the border row of our um, man scarf. I know, I know, it's finally come. I'm very excited. Um, if you are joining us new today and would like to do the man scarf, I will leave the link to the actual um, first part of the scarf, the actual scarf bit, in the description box down below. It's called the man scarf. Just click on that link and then come back to us and, and continue the border with us. For those of you who have already done the scarf and would like to do the border, this is what we're going to do. You will need your, of course, the crochet hook that you actually started with. We started with a 4.5 and we're going to stick with that. You will need your piece, obviously, <laughs> and you will need, yes, 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 guys, you will need your scissors and you will, I hate to have to admit this, but you will need your darning sewing weaving needle. We need to weave in those ends. We can't leave them out. Okay, so we're not going to talk anymore. I'm not going to talk anymore. We are just going to get started. Now, guys, it is an absolute disgusting windy day today here in Melbourne. <laughs> it's not raining. It's just so windy. So if you can hear it through the um, video, <laughs> through the videoing, yes, well, that's it. All right, so where we ended up... Um, in that very last row was a half double crochet in your chain stitch there so what you're going to do is chain one okay we're going to turn our work all I've done is turn our work basic row basic basic it's going to be a little bit fiddly when we get to these side edges remember we were doing half double crochets in the back loop we are going to be doing single crochets in the back loop which is just the same stitch that you're in you pop your hook through that back loop, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over hook, pull through both loops on your hook. Okay, and that's all you're doing for this side. Now, when you get to the front of the scarf, it's going to be different, all right, because there's no back loops for you to enter. But this is what you're going to do. It's pretty basic, the stitch. The only difference is once you get to the fronts, of the scarf that's when it's going to be a little bit fiddly okay all right I'm just going to stop and show you what we've done so you can see all right so it's still giving you that ridged effect and it'll still give it the normal effect over here okay so that's what you're going to do for now head off on your own and do exactly that stitch all the way along the side 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 until you get to that second last stitch and I'll meet you up. All right, here we are at the end of this row. Okay, that is my very last stitch. So now we're going to chain one and single crochet in that very same place because we are doing a little turn, turning your work around. This is really quite a big stitch. So instead of putting one, I'm gonna put two single crochets in there. I'm gonna put one there and one there if yours is big too then you do exactly the same all right then you pop one in the black right there then you pop one in the gray and in fact you pop it in that part there of the gray find a space and pop it in because it's these are half double so you're going to nearly put two single crochets in almost each row if that makes any sense so there'll be a space somewhere, just pop your single crochet in there. Even if it's tight, pop it in, take the risk. Okay, and here we go. See how neat it looks when you're filling up all the gaps, okay? There's one there in the black, and there's one closer to the black and grey. And there's one there in the grey okay so just as neat as possible we'll have a look at it at the end of the row and we're not putting in any loops we're just putting in the spaces that you see okay getting all tangled up here guys sorry <laughs> all right it's a little bit tricky and tight because we've weaved in our ends on this edge okay and don't stress again, um, it's a forgiving pattern, so it doesn't matter where you put these chains, I mean these single crochets, not chains. Get it right, Mary. Here we go. The 
the benefit about this particular row that we are doing is that once we have finished this single row of single crochet, we have finished the scarf. Yay! <laughs> so it's quite a benefit. Um, but we still have more to go because your next side is different yet again. It's a little bit more tricky, okay, than the last row we did. And when I say last row, the last side was single crochet in all of the back loops. But your next row, oh, I've just split the yarn. But your next row has an awkward back loop because it was the start of our scarf. All right, and I'll show you that in just a moment because we're nearly done here. What a really tight stitching I have here, guys. <laughs> I hope yours isn't as tight as mine. <laughs> Hmm. before we we go on we're going to have a look at it make sure it looks decent enough right, I've got to that area right there now the next row here is going to be different before we go on we'll just chain one pull up a loop and let's have a look at it all right so what you need to do is to make sure it looks oh sorry guys I'm look, not looking in the camera lens sorry just to make sure it looks decent okay and to me if you leave it in front of you there it is okay now that kind of looks okay okay a little bit stretched <laughs> if you find that it's too stretched you can actually um i'll just cut this little thread here you can actually take it undone and bring it closer in do the stitches closer you can um, but I wouldn't mind I wouldn't worry about that that actually once it's washed it will fall all into place so I wouldn't worry too much about it now this side here also a tricky side you'd think oh no it should be the same as the other side no let's have a look I'll show you okay so what you've got here is we'll do your corner bit first now we did one single crochet already in there we've chained one and we're going to do another single crochet in that corner so it's officially done now in reference to the other side we were putting the single crochets in the back loops so what we're going to do is all we're going to do is see that loop right there those are the loops we're going to put it in the only you only see one loop anyway so uh, is there a stitch there no Let's jump into the next right there can you see that i hope this is making sense and you're doing a single crochet next one right there very tricky to see but it's like a little thread and one there now hopefully this works i think it will i've done this before in ladies scarves all right so there is a kind of a back loop that you can go into it's already forming a little ridge okay See that little thread right there? That is your back loop. Okay, so what I want you to do now is keep going with this <laughs> weird looking back loop. It's going to take us a little longer to do. Okay, now what I would like for your to-do is to go ahead and finish this whole side until you get to there right there um, you might want to finish off a little bit earlier like two or three stitches earlier but there's a lot of mucking around there um, and I'll meet you up all right guys here we are at the end of this row now this row I have to say <laughs> was very very tricky wasn't it trying to get into those really tight tight threads was very very tricky you know it happens you've got to get your tricky rows okay now this is the best part guys because this side when we finish this side it means we are done bring it out a little bit okay now we've got that very last stitch right there it's a little bit tricky for me because i've done lots and lots of weaving in there from our first thread so it's kind of really tight so i'm going to put a normal single crochet there and now that's going to be sticking out a bit so what i'm going to do i've done my normal single crochet i'm going to chain one and I'm going to do another one there and try and get over that really thick lump. Okay. Hopefully that worked. Hopefully it worked. Okay. So now we're going to pop our hook. Oh, it's a bit tight with all the threads weaved in there. 
in the grey before the black. Okay, because that's nearly two rows if you think about it there. Okay, so you need to have two single crochets. Now pop a single crochet in that space just where the black is. One just before the grey and there you go. One in the grey. So you know what you do? You just go um, down the side as best you can. If you see a big gap like that, pop one in next to it as well to try and close up that gap. Okay, so there we go. I've tried to close up that gap. It's just a bit of loose crocheting on my part. It happens. And sometimes it's tight crocheting. <laughs> you can't win, can you? All these depends on my, with me, it depends on my um, kind of day that I'm having. If I'm having a long and tiresome day, I'll tend to be a bit more relaxed at the end of the day when I'm crocheting. And that will give it the loose feel. If I'm having a relaxed day, at the end of the day, I'll kind of be a little bit more tight. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, doesn't it? But it's true. Okay. How's it coming along? Looking gorgeous, looking gorgeous. Lots of trucks having issues on the freeways today. I don't live too far from the freeway, guys, and I don't usually hear the noise. But today there's some huge truck issues on the freeway, and I don't know what's going down. Anyway, we're on school holidays here in Melbourne, so you hear the noise a lot more, which is weird. I think it's just because everybody's out and they're all doing things, and yeah. And there we go. We're getting there, nearly there at the end of the row. Are you excited, guys? I am. We're in your grey there. We'll get in your grey there. Maybe two in the black. We'll have a look at both of them bottom pieces together. If one of them looks smaller than the other or bigger than the other, you can always adjust this side to suit the other. Um, again, once again, most of the patterns I do, guys, here on Well Crochet, they're quite a forgiving pattern. So don't stress if it looks a little bit unusual or odd or whatever, because it is, they're all forgiving patterns. And I think that's the bonus with crochet. Oh, my hands are shaking from getting excited now. Watch, watch, watch. I'm very excited. Why am I excited? Because we are officially at the end of the row. So what I'm going to do is just slip stitch into that chain right there. That's the very first chain that we began with right there. It's kind of close up shop, pull up a loop, but make it a really long loop because we're going to cut it now so it makes it easy to work with and we're going to have a look at both of the sides to see if they kind of marry up and when I mean by marrying up have a look at them like so ta-da okay so this so they sort of do marry up okay they're not bad if you missed a stitch along here and it's only one stitch Again, because it's a forgiving pattern, it's not going to be noticed. But let's say you missed a couple of stitches on this one, right? Let's go for two. This is what it will look like. You've missed those two stitches here, flatten it out, and there's just big space over here. But we didn't miss anything. We may have missed one, and it wouldn't have been noticed, okay? But have a look. Do they look pretty much the same? As the Aussies say, I reckon they do. <laughs> All right, guys. So guess what? You can now weave in that end because you have officially, officially finished the man scarf. Yay! <laughs> we, we, we've been working on this for a while, haven't we, guys? You do have two ends to weave in. I know I'm lying, one end, because we weaved in that end earlier. Okay, so thank you so much for watching me do the man scarf. Don't forget, guys, if you... Um, would like to see more tutorials you need to um, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell button so that you can receive those tutorials in your inbox don't forget with a man scarf it is double-sided 
So it's very, very exciting, very, very exciting, double-sided, yay. <laughs> now, don't forget also, guys, we um, have so many more items coming up in the future. And now that we have done the man scarf, our very next project, as you all know, most of my regulars would know, the newbies who've just joined me today may not know this, um, the next main project will be the honey cow. The honey cow, again, is in honour of my uh, King Charles Cavalier, honey, who passed away last year. Um, yeah, so that's in honour of her. We have done our scarf for the man. That's not in honour of anyone. I just did it to do it. <laughs> and uh, oh, let me fold it all up, put it all away. Thank you so much for joining me for the double-sided man scarf. Don't forget to weave in this end that you have here. And guys, we have done so much work over the past few weeks. Don't forget to weave in that end. And guess what, guys? <laughs> Ciao for now.